So this is my new rear view mirror with the dash cam in it and also a reversing camera fitted at the back. All things which I've been dying to get for ages but I just wanted the complete package and this is it. So that is the rear view mirror that's obviously just mounted on the back of a normal mirror. And there's the camera, uh, on off button at the bottom. Up at the top you've got um, that's the power, that's the video feed to the camera at the back and also you've got your SD, uh, sorry, your micro SD card in there. And I've put one in which is 32 gig. Now, lots you can do on this. So if you go into the, it's touch screen, it's really good touch screen as well. So let me just get the right button. There we go. So if I wanted to record now, recording up there as you can see uh, if you go into the menu got lots of things you can do settings um, everything for your movie mode everything for still capture for the camera because it's got a camera on it as well single use camera and general settings I'll just feed through those so we'll go up to the top uh, you can talk to it Right, so you've got your uh, clock settings, your power off settings, if you go down, date format, um, lots of bits and pieces. Turn that back. Turn that back more. You can turn the LCD, or set the LCD screen to go off whenever you want. Uh, parking monitoring for when your rear view camera's on. Let's go back to the, so you want to take a photograph, it's there, just do capture and it takes it and you can have a look at your image files there on, on there if you've taken pictures. Uh, easy to review video as well, uh, if I'm not mistaken you go into playback, choose which one you want to do. So normal, for example, if you go into that, you've got all the separate clips that you've been taking there. Um, that's one that I took earlier. One thing that I really like about this, this is when the car was actually parked up uh, and it records when there's any movement on. So when it's in the drive tonight, if anybody walks past or comes to tamper with the car, it'll automatically take a picture. Not take a picture, it'll uh, automatically record, which is good. Um, what I'm going to show you now when I get back, so if I wanted to record now I'd just press that and it starts recording, but if I turn the ignition on and then put it into reverse, you should see, there you go, it shoots to the, uh, to the rear view camera which is absolutely fantastic and as you can see I'm very close to it so it's telling me to stop. Um, this is a really, really good bit of kit. Just, I'll just go out and show you the camera at the back. So I fitted all the wires around and up around the back there so you can't see anything, which is good. And I'll show you the camera. There you go, that's the camera. And again, I can open it up. Wires are all hidden inside. Uh, you come around the back through here, up here, and then all the way to the camera at the back. So, this is a really, really fantastic bit of kit, more than anything else, especially because of all the um, false claims you get for accidents, like the one I saw the other day where a guy just ran his moped, reversed it back into a car, then jumped off and jumped on the bonnet. You won't get any of that with this. It's just a really, really, really good bit of kit that I'm impressed with.